Mayor, uh, you said on the radio today, and you've said it at least one other time, that you think investigations in public life are inevitable. Mm -hmm. So is it your contention then that it was unavoidable that you were going to have federal inquiries and, and local law enforcement inquiries into your behavior as mayor? I think uh, it's not about the specifics. I don't have a crystal ball. I'm saying we, could, we all have eyes to see. Uh, the next president of the United States has gone through more investigations than I could count. I had the honor of working for her once upon a time. And uh, I would remind you, go to the end of the road on all those investigations. You will find positively nothing, and she's about to be the next president of the United States. So I don't think it's uh, an overstatement to say that um, we're in an age where there are many, many investigations for a variety of reasons, some very legitimate, some more questionable. They have become the coin of the realm, fair or unfair. And um, a whole lot of the time, nothing is proven. Uh, people's reputations are harmed. Huge amounts of money are spent. Uh, lawyers have a lot to do but nothing changes. So I think it's fair to say, unfortunately, in public life in America today, yes, investigations are inevitable, real or imagined, fair or unfair, and it's part of the reality of this work. But I also am very comfortable, and with every passing week, I have become more and more convinced we did everything right, we went out of our way to be uh, open and disclosing of what we were doing. We sought legal guidance every turn. We went to the Conflict of Interest Board. Uh, I think people are going to see that we did the right thing. What makes you more and more convinced? Sorry, you said, you said each pass.